Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDC Joe Rebel Clash video. Today, guys, we're going to be taking a look at a Dragapult VMAX deck in Expanded. So yes, this is like the second Dragapult video that I've done so far on the channel. Uh, but this one is going to be, again, Dragapult and Expanded. And the way we're going to be playing it is we're going to be playing it with Gardevoir here with the ability Psychic Mirage, where each basic Psychic Energy attached to your Psychic Pokemon provide two Psychic. So technically, Dragapult with Gardevoir means that Dragapult only needs one Psychic Energy to use max phantom and since it has 320 hp we can also combine this with max potion and ace rolla to constantly be attacking every single turn as long guard in play uh thanks to the Ralts line we can actually play galade here which can help us out against those dark decks which is obviously what dragapult is weak to so if we run into a dark deck we can use this guy as a fighting attacker so it's honestly a decent little combo we have going on so yeah before we get in the video guys of course shout out to our sponsor card game tcg as always guys if you're ever looking for any piece show pack code if you guys are still looking to get yourself um rebel clash codes pick them up over at car kevin tcg of course guys if you have any codes or cards laying around that you don't need anymore you can give them to car kevin tcg and they will give you some cash and in-store credit for your unused codes and any cards you don't want to keep anymore you can give them to car kevin tcg of course guys if you're still looking to get any piece show codes in general guys get them over at car kevin if you're still looking for team up codes unbroken bonds codes rebel clash codes get them over at car kevin tcg uh, if you're getting codes from car kevin guys make sure you use my discount code code ldf at the checkout for a five percent discount on your purchase it greatly supports the channel helps out car kevin and helps yourself out too so shout out to car kevin tcg check him out all right let's take a look at the deck now so yeah dragapult gardevoir here um pretty cool combo it's a pretty straightforward deck uh dragapult v max and expanded uh one for 130 with a spread to 50 on the bench it's not bad there's nothing like insane that dragapult can like be damaging i guess like against night march you can body them unfortunately you can't two shot shaman with the uh, max phantoms effect uh we could play zigzagoon but there's there's no room in my opinion like this deck is a little tight we have to play rare candy max potion and, you know all the ball searches we have to play energy it's just there wasn't enough room for too many tech cards so i've honestly kept it very straightforward i am playing one tech card however and that's gonna be gengar mimikyu another card that can use a one energy attack you can use poltergeist and i'm pretty sure horror house will be able to work with gardevoir um so you have a lot of value out of gengar so that's why i'm playing it again it is weak to dark uh, I am playing one weakness policy alongside the double Gallade to help us out. I'm not playing the Premonition Gallade, uh, which is technically the better Gallade because you have the ability to work with. But the thing about this Gallade compared to that Gallade is you can't use Gardevoir with that Gallade. So Gallade would need a Twin or DC to attack. So this is just a better attacker. And then I am playing one tap of Lele. Um, so yeah, that's it for the Pokemon. There's no Shaman, no Dene, just keeping it very straightforward. I got one Computer Search, one Field Blower, three Max Potion. Once again, the whole kind of drawing point of the stack is you max potion heal your dragapult um and then attach one energy and get back to doing max phantom i got four treasures one quick ball uh four rare candy one rescue stretcher uh, i got a couple ultra balls we have a lot of balls search in this deck so we should be good um i got four via seekers one ace rolla one course one cynthia one end two guzman three juniper uh two floats one muscle band muscle band is kind of like the new normal now for uh tools and expand in my opinion i got the one weakness policy of course so that we can get rid of that dark weakness and then just eight basic psychic i'm not playing whorehouse because you're gonna end up max potion anyways so like the whorehouse isn't really that good compared to basic psychic uh any other change i would make to this deck maybe run a super rod to get you back some extra energy when you discard them um a couple other psychic attackers wouldn't kill you there are definitely a lot of other psychic bowmen you can put in this deck for sure uh this is not just the only psychic so i will say this though this gardevoir was a pain to get i was trying to get three of these for so long to make this video um and it took quite a while to obtain three secret gardevoirs it's a pretty rare card believe it or not so let's go uh, show this deck off and see in action and see if we can win any games all right guys let's find a match with uh, the gardevoir pulp deck here we're up against captain fantastic uh but one thing i will want to say uh, I am kind of running thin on ideas for standard decks. I do have quite a bit of standard decks actually like built and favorited, but it's just going to come down to whether or not I actually kind of feel like playing them or not. So if you guys have any ideas for any decks for any format, I guess other than Legacy, uh, if you have any good standard expanded deck, cool deck ideas, unique decks, uh, comment them and I'll consider covering them. Um... But I just feel like I've done so much recently. It's just like I've kind of run out of ideas. All right, we're playing against Zygarde. Our hand is not ideal. Uh, I think we'll get rid of a Max Potion and a Curlia. We'll just get ourselves the uh, Psychic Dragapult here. Now to get a Float Stone from our Ralts. If we can draw a rare candy though, that's like best case scenario because then we can go Dragapult, Rare Candy, Gardevoir, and hopefully do like a float. 
And then we should be golden as long as Ralsa get KO'd here. So one thing I also kind of figured out this deck is if you attack with Dragapult for two energy before you get the Gardevoir in play, um, and then you get the Gardevoir in play and then you waste two energy on this guy, you can always use Ace Rolla to reuse it. So that's kind of the nice thing I got going on here. All right, there's a Guzma and Hala. We'll see if Ralts lives. They're going to need Strong Energy and Diancie to knock me out here. And it is expanded, so they probably have both. Okay, there's a Brooklet Hill. I don't think we can take advantage of the Brooklet, unfortunately. But yeah, I've taken the, the pop filter off my mic, as you can see here. I have this, like, windbreaker on, but I took the pop filter off because this thing won't stay up, bro. I attach it to my desk. I put it right here. I mean, it falls, and it's like, oh my god. So I, I was like, too, I couldn't be bothered to fix it. That's why the pop filter's not on in this video, if you're wondering. Um, okay, Guzma Hala. They didn't get a Ralts with that Brooklet Hill, so I'm assuming Curlia or Ralts is going to live here. This is only boost Sagar GX attack. Okay, Focus Sash, pretty relevant in this matchup for my opponent because we can break it quite easily with uh, Dragapult. Okay, Strong Energy. Do they have the Dawn to knock me out? They don't. Okay. Wait, they are? How are they doing 60 damage? I'm so confused. Oh, right. Baby Zygarde increases its own Zygarde. I completely forgot that was a thing. Oh, rip. I thought this was only increasing Zygarde GX. That's what I was thinking there for a minute. Rip. Um, well, we have all our other Ralts. We do have all our Gardevoirs. Okay, everything seems to be intact, so we just gotta hope we can draw one here. Let's see if we get our Ralts off the prizes at the end. Okay, we do. We're gonna have to get Layla here, it looks like. We'll just max Phantom. Um, yeah, let's put... Mm, we'll put five on the Zygarde because then with Muscle Band we can knock it out. We'll see what happens here. We could Lele for Guzma and then we can knock out both Zygarde and uh, Baby Zygarde. So we could do that too, which might be the better play instead of just getting a draw supporter. Might be more tempted to do that. Dragapult is resistant to fighting, so he's not doing much damage to me anyways. What, this guy plays Hustle Belt? Yo, who's mans, bro? What? Yo, the random hustle belt out of nowhere. That is a bit of a bra moment right there. Okay, I've changed my mind. I am gonna go Lele. If he didn't do that much damage, I would have taken the double KO. Um, but we're gonna go Lele now. We're gonna go Lele. Bro, that was like, uh, I'm gonna Colrus. I don't really want an N or Juniper. I want to keep the Max Potion because we might need to play it. We'll see. Uh, there's the Rare Candy Gardevoir. You love to see it. We can also Quick Ball here for another Dragapult. If we had an Energy, we could have won Gengar Mimikyu, which I probably would have preferred to do. Okay, well, there goes that. We'll put two damage here and... One here, one here, and I'll put three on this, sure. This way he can't play Focus Sash. All right, let's see what our prizes are. Weakness policy, okay. So what we're gonna be looking for here, probably, we have no energy in the discard, right? Okay, so I'm gonna try to max potion this Dragapult next turn, because I'm assuming he's gonna hit me pretty hard with either Zygarde GX or the baby Zygarde. Okay. So yeah, it promotes the Zygarde. He hasn't put a Diancy in play yet. He could knock out Gardevoir with uh, Guzma, which is what I'm a little scared of here. So we probably want to get another Ralts in play ASAP. Yeah, there's Diancy. All right, boost finger 30. We have 180 HP. Verdict could knock me out. Oh, there's an Ace Rolla. We don't even need to... And see, look at this. Just Ace Rolla. Bring in the new Dragapult. And uh, the nice thing about this is this thing has... A one energy attack, so boom, just like that. We are coming back, and we are just going to go for the Max Phantom. I'm going to put five damage on Diancy, because we're going to try to knock this out next. All right, seems good. We have a Via Seeker, so if he hits me really hard, we can just Ace Roll. We can also Cynthia try to get one of our Max Potions, full heal this. We could even retreat into another Dragapult. Gardevoir Dragapult is a very strong combo, as you can see. The Ace Rolla is insanely good right there. Um, 330. 
50 HP Dragapult because of that fighting resistance against Zygarde is really good for us. So we'll see if my opponent can do anything about this situation they're in. We'll see. I mean, they can hit me with Verdict. We can just do Ace Rolla again if we have to. The only way they can stop me is by knocking out Gardevoir, which they're not going to do. Alright, just a Verdict GX. 160 damage, which will two-shot me. There's Max Potion. We don't even have to play the Ace Roller. We're just going to Max Potion. Go here. Well, Cynthia. Probably could have attached the Float, I guess, but nah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to treasure away the treasure. I'm going to keep the hand. I want to keep the Juniper just in case we have the Via Seeker for Ace Roller. I'm going to make sure I get another Ralts in play. And yeah, we're just going to Max Phantom for the Knockout. And we're going to be too shy in this thing anyways, right? Because we already played our Muscle Band. So we can go... We'll just keep hitting the down, see? Cool. All right, let's see our prizes. Rare Candy, nice. We can get Gardevoir. Stretcher. Okay, we can put Gallade in play maybe, but Gallade doesn't really seem very good. I think we just keep the Dragapult alive. Like, bro, we have two prizes left to take. Oh, you know what? No, I should have hit the Zygarde because we can just go Gengar Mimikyu here and knock it out. Possibly if my opponent has enough trainers. Yeah, that was... Okay, but I probably should have done that instead. Still, I don't see how they're winning. Like, 70 damage is a lot of damage, but... Again, we have complete control over my opponent in this, like, matchup. We're just gonna go Max Phantom. Knock this out. We'll put, put some damage here. Yeah, so it's like impossible for my opponent to win at this point. They could end me to one. That could be a possibility. We maybe should have just done comp search there and got rid of something and then survived the end of one. But at this point, guys, it's not looking good. The only way they could stop me is like they'd have to end and goose my knockout Gardevoir. Yeah, there's nothing they can really do, I don't think. We have even like Tapu Lele could finish this thing off if we wanted to. So it's like even if he knocks us out and we can't attack and knock him out with Jet Assault uh, or Ho Poltergeist, we can just knock him out with Energy Drive because Lele is a Psychic Pokemon. So there you go. All the damage modifiers in the world, my opponent can't get there. We'll see if they have a Bonnie in their hand. I don't think Bonnie is, will still do enough damage. Okay, well, they actually do have a Bonnie. Okay, well, we'll see if Verdict knocks me out. We have 250 HP. I don't think this is. Yeah, it's not even coming close. And either way, if we weren't getting KO'd here, we would just Ace Rolla, and that would be that. Yeah, um... That's, uh, what it's all about with this deck. That's, that's, that's how you beat, um... That's how you beat people. One Energy Dragapult, three, 320 HP, 350 in that case, and, uh... Nothing the opponent can do about it. Nothing the opponent can do about it. Alright guys, getting into another match. We're against Lucky Lucario here, with which will, looks to be a possible Volcanian deck. We'll have to see. There are some decks that aren't dark type decks that can body Dragapult, obviously. Uh, Dragapult, 320 HP, it's still a lot of HP. There are still some decks out there that can get the job done. But uh, we'll see if we can uh, continue to just body people. Really, to, again, it's going to come down to whether or not our Gardevoir lives or not. All right. Okay, we're mulliganing it many, many times. That's unfortunate. Okay, we're up against a deck with Koga's Trap. Nah, Koga's Trap, my favorite card on the planet. Not worried about Koga, it's just like, you know, they're playing Koga's Trap. They might not be playing that great of a deck. Because, like, it's become like a meme on this channel. You know what I mean? Okay, let's see what we're looking at here. Another Rolt start. Not ideal. Not ideal. We do have a turn to uh, Gardevoir, but I don't think we're going to take it here. I mean, we'll see what we're playing against. It's probably some Evolution deck. So Rolls could still get donked, just like it did in that first game there by the Zygarde. But we'll see. Once again, we just set up everything and we should be good to go, probably. Hopefully. Oh, they got the Energy Evolution Eevee. That's a little uh, scary. Another Brooklyn Hill coming down. All right, we have to play against two Brooklyn Hill decks. Now I wish I played a Fighting or Water type, which there isn't any. Well, I guess Fion would be okay in here. Fion's not that great in Expanded, but, like, it is still a good card with Dragapult. It really is. Okay, Keldeo coming down. There's a Calm. 
We'll see what their main attacker is. It could be Glaceon GX, which means I can't use Tapu Lele, which is fine, I guess. Glaceon doesn't shut off anything else. I mean, we didn't put any like Mew or Mr. Mime in this deck, so we don't have bench protection. Maybe that is something we can consider playing in this deck is like a bench protection type of uh, thing. I could definitely see that being good in here. All right, let's see what they calm for though. All right, they do get an Eevee here. Another Eevee. And, okay, they do have the energy evolution, which is scary because then they just go DCE and they can start attacking me. Yeah, we're going to go Juniper here, I think. Yeah, they are playing Glaceon. Yeah, we're going to have to go Juniper. I mean, they have a four-card hand. The chances they have a DC aren't insanely high, but they are they have it. Like, I know they have it. It's just it's going to be in their hand. I already know it, bro. I'm a psychic. All right, let's go get the Dragapult out of the deck. We have this weakness policy. I'm just going to dump it. There's nowhere to attach it. I, I want to use muscle band because 200 HP. Okay, not the greatest hand um, to work with. We have Gardevoir. We didn't get the rare candy. We could do Cybolt. How much? What does this do? 60 damage. That's pretty bad. I mean, we could just Cybolt here. We could get heads with Cybolt, which would be pretty good. But they're only doing 90 damage, so like, I feel like we just build up Dragon Ball VMAX, we should be fine. Not gonna bother with Cybolt. And if I get Tails, I waste out on energy attachment. I can just build up Dragapult here and then Dragapult VMAX next turn. I already know they have the DC, bro. Like, I know they have it. Like, I know I know the DC is in their hand. Even if it's not, they're gonna probably find it anyways off of a supporter. So I'm not gonna bother going to Cybolt. This is not worth it. I mean, we could have bought a turn, I guess, but... It is what it is. They could two-shot two Ralts here, though. That's kind of what I'm scared of, is if they knock out the other Ralts here, we're going to be Gardevoir-less. Okay, they're actually going to end me, which I'm totally fine with, because that hand was not very good. Um, hopefully, we get a better hand. Mm, bro, that's way too much energy. Oh, gosh. What is that? Okay. They don't need the DC. They have Jolteon. That's right. Okay. It's good thing they don't have Flareon or Vaporeon. They do more damage. We'll see if they get another Eevee down. Okay, they don't. All right. They're probably going to hit the other Ralts here. Or not. Okay. This is an awkward hand, though, bro. I don't like it. Who draw an end? Chorus. It's going to have to accept the fact we're going to lose two energy. We should be able to get the Gardevoir Rare Candy. Okay, we did. We got everything, actually. Got it all. Sadly, I'm going to dump the uh, Computer Search. Well, we could get End again. I guess we can keep it. All right, we'll get rid of another Energy. Ah, he can't really lose Energies, bro. <laughs> I don't want to lose that much Energy. How much Energy do we have left? Three. Okay, we have... Well, we have five, because we can Ace Roll of this Dragapult, which I think is what I'm going to have to do with it. Alright, Max Phantom. Uh, what is it? The Jolteon. Knock it out. We could hit the uh, Keldeo, though. Now, they could play a Rough Seas. That would make things a little awkward if they, if they do actually play Rough Seas. That's going to be kind of awkward. Of course, they play Hypnotoxic Laser. At least they didn't get heads. That could be good. Choice Band. Doesn't work anymore. So why Choice Band's bad? Because, bro, when once VMAXs start swarming expanded, Choice Band is going to be no longer good. There's a fan club. How much? Wait, does an Eevee have 50 HP? 60. That one has 50. So if they get that Eevee, we can knock that out. I think we still knock out the Jolteon, though. I think we still want to knock out Jolteon. Can they get a Oracorio? It's a weird card to see. Let's see if they end me here. We could do Chorus here, actually, instead of the uh, Juniper, so I keep the comp search, which I th honestly think I want to do, just to kind of save the computer search. So we're probably just looking for another Ralts. Definitely going to be looking for another Dragapult, that's for sure. Gardevoir's not going to be knocking me out anytime soon, which is good. Or, sorry, Glaceon. Oh, no, but they could do... Well, they can Polar Spear me if we get too much damage on us. I got to consider that. <coughs> Oh, bless me. <laughs> yeah, they can Polar Spear me here. That's actually a little scary. 
Oh, I apologize for sneezing, guys, bro. I can't help it. <coughs> oh, I'm trying. I was trying to mute my mic there while I was sneezing, but it wasn't working. Oh my gosh, I could. I, I, I sneezed as I was trying to click the mute mic option. Yeah, I apologize for sneezing. I apologize. Oh, I gotta go again. Okay. Yeah, I. <sighs> I don't know why I'm sneezing. I think it's just allergies. I think it's allergies. Again, sneezing is not a symptom. So, if you're sneezing, you don't have what you think you have. Oh, they actually didn't get anything with that. Okay, that's huge. The fact they didn't get anything there. Cardboard top deck. Okay, we're just. I'm just gonna chorus. I don't care if it's only gonna be five cards. We're taking three prizes anyways, so I don't really care. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna comp search. I'm glad I held the comp search now. And we're actually gonna get another Dragon Pool. I'm not gonna, whatever. We're gonna just get another Dragon Pool. We're just gonna go for the uh, Max Phantom and knock out the Gardevoir. And we're gonna knock out that Jolteon too, which is gonna make it harder for my opponent to attack me because they're gonna be, they can't use that ability to attack me now. So we're gonna get three prizes. Let's we'll see what we're looking at here. A Via Seeker would be good to Ace Rolla. Gengar Mimikyu, Guzma. Okay, Guzma's okay. For Candy, okay. Pretty bad prizes. I guess like the Guzma's okay. But we can't use it right now. If we draw an energy, we can play Guzma though, which is good. And then we can ace roll this guy Volsus in the bench. So I think at this point we just set up Keldeo to be killed. Or or Corio. It doesn't really matter. If I play Power Plant, that could be good. Again, there's still a lot of text you can play. You could still play the Mr. Mime if you wanted to and stop Scuba Net from working. That's another good option. So they could knock me out with Glaceon here. And DC if they have it. Dive ball. Will that get them the Glaceon? They didn't get it with energy evolution. I don't know why they didn't. That doesn't make any sense why they wouldn't get the Glaceon. So there's a chance they don't have it in the deck. And because we knocked out the Jolteon, yeah, they must have prized their other attacker. I don't know if like what other evolutions they're playing. I guess they have Flareon, because they're playing that blender unit energy or whatever it's called. So let's see what happens here. They might just have to go for a uh, a nice quick draw. I mean, they could still put other evolution in play, obviously, which I think they want to do. I don't think they want to. They don't want to be sitting on just an EV here. They definitely want to get another evolution down if they can, for sure. For sure, for sure. But will they find one? I mean, we need to just get a Via Seeker and we can just ace roll of this. Okay, they're gonna rush in. I don't know if they have anything or not. What are they doing here? Okay, just a pass. All right. Can we draw something? We do indeed. Okay, let's just put this down. Energy here. Guzma the... Yeah, we just knock out the Eevee. Whatever, sure. Yeah, we'll just put five damage on the Keldeo. And Keldeo gets knocked out. So yeah, that's that. Uh, we weren't really able to heal much this game, obviously, but you get the gist. One energy Dragapult attacks is pretty good, if you ask me. Pretty good. I don't think they can do anything this turn to really stop me. Like, they could end me to two, and, like, yeah, there's nothing they could. They'd have to, like, crushing hammer or, like, disrupt my hand. That's, like, the only way I can see them getting out of this. I mean, they do start that Colgus trap somewhere. They might have another laser. They could still slow me down by getting heads. That could be pretty frustrating. If we don't draw via Seeker here, we'd have to put up with that. So we'll have to see what happens. Parallel City, that's fine. Well, we don't have a Counter Stadium in this deck either. That is, I guess we should maybe put a Counter Stadium in here too. Yeah, there's a Muscle Band. What else? They benched the Ditto, so we can knock that out. Okay, well, they actually did have an end of two. Okay. Probably could have benched the Gengar Mimikyu. Okay, we pretty much just caught the same hand, minus the Lele and the items. But I, I don't think they can do anything. And I don't know, don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure Horror House actually works with Gardevoir. I haven't tried it yet. Okay, well, we just drew a Cynthia flat out. Wish we had Great Catcher. Alright, we got a Field Blower. We can play that, get rid of the Parallel City, get rid of the Muscle Band. And yeah, they just concede. 
That's gonna be that. If I put extra damage on the Oracorio there, we could have muscle band knocked it out and we wouldn't have we would not have we would have won a turn earlier, technically. But yeah, there you go, another match with the deck here. We're getting very close again, those three boundaries cross packs. So maybe I'll uh open those up. Even if I finish the video and I don't get the packs, I'll still like get some games in and then I'll just open the packs around of the video. Alright guys, get another match here with our deck. We're up against a uh, deck with some types. That's for sure. So one thing I will say that I like about Expand right now is Eggrow is actually bugged, so you can't use Super Growth. Super Growth does not work right now, which is really good because it means you don't have to run into Eggrow Vileplume, which is really good. So that's one nice thing about Expanded. You still have to play against Ultimate Crosma and stuff, and Trevnor possibly, but not having to play against Eggrow Vileplume is really nice because that deck is super annoying and cheesy. Just something I thought I would mention because I just don't like playing against that deck. Uh, ooh, it looks like we're playing against a Zacian deck, which is probably a good matchup that can never one-shot us. Any deck that can't one-shot you is, like fine for us pretty good start too we finally didn't get a Ralt start by itself which is good um pretty good opening hand we got a juniper for next turn let's see what we're playing against yeah it's definitely that okay let's go here and just pass i guess nothing else we can really do with this hand i think we're just gonna juniper not gonna bother benching lele we'll see how many energy they have intrepid sword this is weak to dark right yeah they could hit an insane amount of energy here off the Intrepid Sword, which could be a problem. Okay, they only hit one, which is fine. Oh, two heal cards gone just like that. You hate to see it. We could have Lele'd actually for Guzma. I probably should have done that. Nice! That's a good hand. Other than not getting a draw supporter, that's a good hand. That's a really good hand, actually. Alright, come on, evolve. Sadly, we're going to be 20 damage short on the knockout on the Zacian here. We can knock out Dawn Wings next turn. I'm just gonna put all my damage on this guy though. Cool, not bad, not bad. The only thing we're missing right now is a supporter because we had to get rid of Lele there, but that's chilling. Rip, they had the float. I was hoping they wouldn't have a float stone either. If we don't get a healing card, we're gonna get two shot by this Zacian, which I don't like. Oh, well, actually no, we're knocking out their Dawn Wings, right? So maybe they don't have a access to that. Maybe they don't have access to a double invasion here. If we knock out the Dawn Wings, which we're going to do. We could Guzma 2. We could knock out Shaman Dawn Wings here if we can draw an energy. So if we draw an energy, we can retreat to another Dragapult, which is probably the better play. Unless we can draw something good. Like that. So now we are looking at... We could Ace Rolla. Via Seeker Ace Rolla doesn't sound bad. I think I'm just going to go Juniper and just play it safe. We need to get a better hand anyways. No! We got max potion, but no energy! Oh, you hate to see it. No, Dragapult! <sighs> oh, shoot. That is awkward. That's really awkward. That sucks a lot. We could just passively go into Ralts here. Actually, I like that. Let's just retreat into Ralts. Make him have the Guzma or Boss Order. We'll see if my opponent has it or not. We could have hit Magnemite too, which would have been pretty good. No, they have a comp. Oh, so they are going to be able to attack me again. Well, at least they're going to knock me out. We are down two max potion, which is kind of bad. Maybe they won't get the Guzma, though. There's a chance they don't. I mean, we have two Dragapults in play, though, so we're still chilling. If we draw an energy, we can Ace Rolla this guy, which I think would be the best play. They could also knock out Gardevoir. That could be an issue. We'll see what happens here. Maybe we should have just attacked them, but it's not going to work. I don't think it would have mattered if we attacked them or not. Especially if they just Magnezone, they could just build this up, retreat, knock me out. Maybe we should just attack them though, honestly. That does kind of put us one turn back. We'll see if they got the uh, boss's order here. Though, Zacian playing boss order is terrible. Hey, they don't have it! Alright, this is 
perfect. This is what I wanted. All right, this is really good. Um, cool. We're in a good spot now, I think. Look at that. Look at that. All right. We could have... Uh, well, if I knew it was around the energy, I could have Guzma, but whatever. Um... We can treasure here. We're just gonna get rid of all the galleys. They are not gonna matter in this matchup. We're just gonna get another Curlia down. We have another Max Potion in our hand, which is good. We don't need to mention the Dragon Pulse just yet. So we're just gonna go for Max Phantom here. Hit this, knock this thing out. One, two, three. Don't really need to hit the Zacian, right? We can hit Shaman, actually. And then our wing condition becomes a little bit easier. Hey, that's what I was actually hoping for, because what I want to do here is possibly a VS Seeker. Um, yeah, we win next turn. Yeah, we win. That's game, right? We VS Seeker. Um, VS Seeker, Dragapult, Knockout Shaman, Knockout Zacian for game. Unless they have a Max Potion or a Scoop Up Net. Nope, not even that. They have the double Scoop Up Net. They have, either way, I'm pretty sure we have game here next turn. As long as they don't heal or remove the Shamans off the board, we can knock out for four prizes. Let's see what happens. Will we be able to pull it off? It's good thing they haven't got Magnezone Plumps. How have they not, though, honestly? That comp search? I don't know what to tell you. All right, just an Intrepid Sword. And that will be game here, guys. We are just going to win just like that. Via Seeker. For Guzma. We're going to Guzma the Shaman. I'm going to bring in the Dragapult. And we're going to Max Phantom for four prizes. Just like that. Just like... I'm just going to put all the damage on it. Just in case. Cool. Dragapult Gardevoir. One energy attacks is uh, something to something to be amazed at. Let's we'll see what we're getting here out of our prize box thing. Thank you for the tourney ticket. Thank you. I really, really wanted that. <laughs> oh, we're so close. I, mean, I guess we could do one more game in this deck just to try to get that. All right, guys, let's do one last game with the Dragapult deck, because all we need to do is win one more game with this deck, and we can get Boundaries Cross Packs. So we'll have to see. We're up against, it looks like an ADP Zacian deck in Expanded. That's a deck I've been seeing a lot of in Expanded. I mean, I don't think the deck is that great in Expanded, because literally Pokemon Ranger completely counters the deck. But ADP is still something, I mean, ADP is fun in Expanded, because there's like a trillion different combos you can play it with. Um... We'll see. Uh, our start's not amazing. We do have the turn two Dragapult and Curly. We don't have Hurricane Gardevoir or Supporter, but it looks like they're Mulliganing, so that's going to help us out a little bit. Yeah, they have Center Lady, bro. I hate that card. <laughs> it's such a random card, but it actually trolls you because it heals the perfect amount of damage. Uh, let's see what we're getting here. Not a Supporter. Okay, we got a Lele. We're chilling. All right, if they have the double dragon energy here, that's going to be a little awkward. I'd rather them not have double dragon energy. Okay, good. Nice. What the heck? That's not even a basic energy, bro. They can't even use that to uh, do anything. That's good. All right. They might not be playing the most amazing of ADP Zacian decks. You'll love to see it. You'll love to see it. All right, let's see what we draw. So we could get our down here. I think we're always just going to go Lele. I'm fine with this. We can go Curly. We can always just attack for two energy again. We have that Ace Roll option available to us. We're going to get rid of one rare candy. Don't need the Galate here because it's not up against anything where it's good. They can't do Ultra Creation right now unless they're having some weird Rainbow Brush E-Switch combo thing. Should be okay. It's going to play Cynthia. I'm not going to end them. No point. All right. What are we getting here? Still not much. Okay, I'm gonna Ultra Ball away. I'm gonna just keep in the thin as much as I can. I'll get Ralts. We're just gonna go Max Phantom. And we'll get five damage on Odysseus, which we need to put because, of course, the Frying Pan is on for the moment. We do need Muscle Band, though. Janaka, the ADP. Next turn, so hopefully we can find it. There's a Tag Call. They could get Malolana here. That could be kind of annoying. Still not going to do much for them, though, if they get that. Okay, they get a Neg Guz? Because I'm not one-shot him. I don't really care. 
The Nega Guz means they can't use Catech Order, which actually could be low-key pretty good for us. But they could Alter Creation, and then they just knock out Lele, knock out Dragapult to win, which could put things in an awkward spot. So hopefully they don't Alter Creation this turn. I don't think they can. Oh, they, oh, they can double Dragon Energy here with the Guzmahala. We might actually be able to pull it off. That's a little scary. Yeah, they're going to be able to get the double Dragon Energy here. Unless for some reason they don't play double Dragon. So we need to top deck a supporter, or we need to get like a muscle band to knock out this ADP Zacian here. ADP Zacian, this ADP Po Town. Yo, that actually low key does damage. That's actually kind of hilarious. Okay. I really hope we can draw something here. We need to get a good top deck ASAP. Gengar Mimikyu might actually be able to one shot though. It seems they do play a lot of items, so Gengar Mimikyu could be really good against uh, the Nega Guz. Alright, Alter Creation. Nope, they're gonna Ultimate Ray me. That is fine by me. We do need to get energy though to heal this guy, which is not good for us. Yeah, I really, really, really wish our hand was better. Come on, give me a good top deck here. Come on. Don't do this to me. Okay, nice. We can heal. And get the Gardevoir in play. That bought us a turn. How much energy are we down though? Two? That's not too bad. Still can't one-shot this ADP, which is a little awkward. We got rid of the Guzma, but we'll see if they ultimate Raimi again. Ah, wish we had a better setup, though. Not gonna lie. I mean, if our Ringdish just knock out these two, but they have Violent Appetite. I think I'm just gonna keep damaging the Zacian. 120 HP left, so we need to get Muscle Man to knock it out. <sighs> this is a little tough. We need to get a top deck very, very soon. We have a lot of outs to draw out of this, so hopefully we can get something soon. They might have a Guzma in my hand in their hand. They can knock out Gardevoir here, which would be pretty bad for us too. If they knock out Lele, that gives us an out to a stretcher top deck. Yeah, I'm just hoping we don't lose here to uh, Dead Drawing because we uh, really need to get a supporter here. Really, really, really badly. Okay, via Seeker. Get some Guzma Hala. It's not going to do much for my opponent. I'm surprised they didn't do Alter Creation, though. They have 20 HP. Hopefully they don't heal or something silly. I don't think they can, though. Guzmahala can't get them any weird healing cards. If they Center Lady this, then it can't get knocked out by Max Phantom's extra effect, which is what we want to try to knock it out with. Ugh. They can do that, too, bro. That's rough. I mean, we can still knock out the ADP, though. We might have to lose one Dragapult here in order to make this work. And then we can maybe attack with Lele. Since they didn't do Alter Creation, but then they just set a violent up Catech Order. I don't know, man. What I do know is we need to draw something ASAP. No! Oh, don't tell me I'm gonna lose to dead draws. Oh my gosh. Alright, hit them for 150. Knock out the ADP and let's we'll put the rest of the damage on the Zacian. Come on, give me something good. We're getting three prizes here. There we go. Oh, finally. Okay, another Dragon Ball's good. Rolls. Okay. As long as we have that Via Seeker, I'm chilling. Bro, I told you. Oh, they're not healing. They're active, though. Oh, okay. This is still problematic, though. Not gonna lie. This beast I let some knock out Dragapult. I mean, our best play could be like Jet Assault. I don't think Lele knocks us out. How much Gallade do we have left? We could try to go Gallade here. Oh, but then they still win the Chaotic Order. I don't know, man. This is not looking good. This is not looking good. This is rough, man. We really needed to draw something there to, to heal. We might not even find energy here. Okay, we do. I don't know if we're knocking them out, though. I'm pretty sure we're short on the knockout. I mean, we can win next turn, though, so that's good. Yeah, it's not knockout. How much is it? 100 damage? Yeah. They can heal with Violent Appetite, which is kind of scary. If they Violent Appetite Center Lady, I'm done. Like, I'm actually done. <laughs> that's gonna be so stupid. <laughs> don't do it! Come on, don't do it. 
If they heal too much damage, we're not gonna be able to win. Cause uh we're not gonna be able to do enough damage with Dragon Ball V Max. I mean, oh we have an N though. It's not even a good draw supporter. We can't even like draw many cards here with an N. Oh, they're gonna Lysander my Gardevoir? Okay. That's fine. That's fine. As long as they're not, as long as they're not healing, then I'm fine with this. <laughs> they're gonna retreat. That's making things even more awkward. This is very much a bra moment. We can end them to two though, which is pretty good. If we had a better hand, we could possibly via secret knock this out. They can't attack me next turn, which is good. Plus, we're ending them to two. We're not drawing many cards, though, which is worrying. We could just go Gengar and Mimikyu here. And, um... I actually don't mind that. We might need to buy a turn with Gengar Mimikyu. Okay, we didn't find an energy. That's a little frustrating. Okay. Let's get that Curlia back. Still not too fond of this hand though. I guess we can comp search next turn though for Juniper. We just gotta hope this end to two stuck. They have Intrepid Sword though. Maybe we should end them again? I don't know. Well no, if we can draw an energy here, we actually just knock out this to win the game. Yo, this is more intense than it should be. Energy. Nope. Nope, not energy. We're gonna have to horror house them if we can find energy. Okay, we do. Nice. We got the Gardevoir too. We didn't get to be a Seeker though. We need a Thin. How much Via Seekers do we have left? Two? Not amazing odds. All right, we're about to find out if horror house actually works here. It should. Yeah, it does, right? Yeah, it does. All right, nice. And there's Via Seeker. All right, let's go. We have game next turn unless something crazy happens. All right, let's see it. Come on. Let's see it. As long as I can't do 10 more damage to me, we should be good. Nice, let's go. Holy cow. Holy cow, what a match. What a match, dang, bro. But yeah, that Gengar Mimikyu late game tech just saved my butt, literally. That was so close. Good thing this thing wasn't healing. We would've lost if this thing healed too much damage. But yeah, that's gonna be game here. That was pretty stressful, not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, we can open up some boundaries cross packs now. Hooray. Hooray for that. And yeah, there you go. Dragapult VMAX with Gardevoir and Expanded. Pretty strong deck as long as it sets up pretty well. And uh, that's how it goes. We're going to get five packs to open up here. Boundaries cross is okay of a set. Uh, really what I'm looking for is more secret rares. I don't want any computer searches. I already have five of them locked. I don't need any more. So hopefully we don't pull any computer searches. Because if we do, that's going to be very annoying. Um, because I don't need any more computer searches. Uh, where are they? Where's Matters Cross? Where is it? Oh, there it is. It's in the corner. All right. So let's open these up and end off the video. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's feature video, guys, on the Dragapult Gardevoir deck. Really fun deck to play. Uh, you probably can't get yourself to create Gardevoir, but you can definitely get the normal Gardevoir from Next Destinies, which is the same card, um, which is a lot cheaper. Uh, Dustmark Pull is fine, I guess. We're just looking for Keldeo Full Arts. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you did, drop a like in the video. Subscribe down below. Hey, look at that. Uh, subscribe down below if you're new to the channel. Help me to reaching 9,000 subs. Once again, guys, we're on the road. We're getting very close to 9,000. We're less than 200 subscribers away 
from 9k subs. First of all, Dust Snore. I've already got a secret rare, but I mean, I'll take what I can get. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's peace show video. As always, check out our sponsor, Car Driving TCG, down below too. Make sure you use code LDF if you get any codes and all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. I think I've said that too many times. Follow me on Twitter down below if you haven't already. Also, I forgot to mention that. How many packs do we have left? Where the where'd they go? Where's Magic Class packs? Oh yeah, so we're out. All right, cool. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.